the Worcester Novices Chase is next, which is not at Worcester as you'd imagine it would be. It's at Newbury, and it's a three-mile grade two. And the top one is good timing for Ryan Tamasevi. Heartbreak Hotel for Paul Rhodes. Rosini's McCavity for David Hooley. Simons Wood for Darren Thompson. State of Euphoria for Ryan Tamasevi. Amazing Grace for Joshua Sutherland. Got some pretty good looking form. That one, Breakout, Leon Van Rensburg. James Rose, John Morgan. Junk in the Trunk Ages. David Robertson, Nuclear, Leon Van Rensburg. Pretty Storm, Craig Beckwith and Renval Prospect. Hems, they're already off and racing. And down towards the first of the fences. The rain has stopped as they get to the first. And they're all so clear it, although Junk in the Trunk Ages gave it an almighty wallop and was lucky to stay in connection with the jockey. But good timing, it's just about poked its head in front then, racing down towards the second of 18. And over it they go, slow jump by the horse in second. That was Heartbreak Hotel. But James Rose has now taken over that position for John Morgan. So it's good timing that leads then as they race down towards the next with James Rose in second and Heartbreak Hotel in third. Those three have gone on from the remainder by a good couple of lengths with Simon's Wood on the outside, Amazing Grace over on the inside and Pretty Storm is also closer to the rail as well. Also down on that inside is Renvile Prospect, State of Euphoria's after that one, then Rosini's McCavity with Nuclear and break out the two Leon von Rensburg horses at the back at this early stage. They make their way towards the third, then which they now get to, and good timing takes them over it well. They're all safely over that one, and good timing leads by a couple of lengths. I think it might try and cut in a little bit. We're in quite wide on these turns at the moment. James Rose is in second, Simon's Wood is third, Heartbreak Hotel is fourth, then State of Euphoria and Renvar Prospect with Amazing Grace just after that one. The grey junk in the trunk cages has recovered from that early mistake and is alongside a pretty storm as they get to the fourth. One or two slow jumps again there. Rosini's McCavity wasn't all that quick over it towards the back. And Breakout is the back marker who's out of shot as they get to this ditch, which they are all safely to the other side of. And racing up the straight they are in there. And it's good timing in the lead. James Rose is about three lengths back in second. Then Simon's Wooden Heartbreak Hotel with Amazing Grace as they get to the sixth. That'll be the third last of my next circuit. Third last or the second last. I think it's the third last. And it's good timing. And it's clear by three. Popping over this plain one. And they're all over that one. Oh, there's a mistake at the back by Pretty Storm. Not quite sure where Breakout's gone. That one seems to have disappeared altogether as they make their way down to what I think is going to be the water jump next which hopefully they won't jump on the next circuit they certainly shouldn't do it, they should go around it but I'm not so sure whether they will so good time is in the lead then from James Rose in second and Heartbreak Hotel and Amazing Grace then Simon's Wood and Junk in the Trunk Ages the Great that's the sort of second leading group if you like Sally Euphoria heads the next group with Renval Prospect and Rosini's McCavity, then Nuclear and Pretty Storm, and you can see the breakout is finding things just a little bit tough and is about four or five lengths adrift of the remainder. I would guess there might be something amiss with that one as they get over number nine, and there's a fall of their Heartbreak Hotel's gone. So it's Heartbreak again for Paul Rhodes as Heartbreak Hotel crashes out of the race. Uh, let's hope he's not all shook up, but it's good timing in the lead then from James Rose in second as they get to this ditch. All safely over that one with Nuclear making some interesting looking progress through the field with a good jump there but good timing is still three clear of James Rose in second and Simon's Wood in third Amazing Grace is fourth as they take number 11 and there's another faller there it's Renval Prospect gone this time so that's Craig Allen out of the race he won the last but he's not going to win this one and good timing is clear by three lengths Amazing Grace is second oh and the leader ran straight through that one so too did Simon's Wood and good timing made an awful mistake there and his stable mate State of Euphoria has come up to challenge for the lead then comes Amazing Grace and James Rose then Junk in the Trunk Ages and Nuclear good timing jump that one much better was it once again out jump though by his stable mate State of Euphoria and State of Euphoria might just about be in the lead as they go into the final mile it's State of Euphoria on the outside good timing on the inside back in third is 
James Rose, then Amazing Grace, then comes Rosini's McCavity, who's making steady progress, Nuclear doing likewise, then Junk in the Trunk Ages, Simon's Wood is next, I think we can probably forget Breakout and Pretty Storm, although Breakout is getting a little bit closer, we're in a strange race that one, but it's the Tamasebi pair up top, it's Stadig Euphoria on the outside, good timing on the inside, James Rose is third, Amazing Grace is going well in fourth, they get over the 14th, another slow jump there by good timing, that surely but paid to that one's chance, but it's State of Euphoria in the lead. James Rose is second. Amazing Grace is third. Good time in labouring back in fourth. Then comes Nuclear. Simons Wood. Rosini's McCavity. Junk in the trunk ages and break out. Trying to get into it. And he's creeping ever closer at the back. But it's State of Euphoria who still leads. With four to jump then. State of Euphoria from James Rose. Over to fourth. Last they go. Gets over it nicely. Junk in the trunk ages and Rosini's McCavity. And now throwing down big challenge. Simons Wood is fighting back as well. It's a wide open race this one. And it's Rosini's McCavity who takes it up over the final ditch and as a fall of their junk in the trunk ages is gone Rosini's McCavity is in the lead Simon's Wood challenges in second State of Euphoria looks beaten so too does Amazing Grace they race down towards the final two fences then now and it's Simon's Wood who goes into the lead over it he goes he stood off it got away from it quite well but Rosini's McCavity is trying to fight back here comes Nuclear up the centre of the track and also coming there well now is Amazing Grace and they come down to the final fence and they get to it and over it they go and it's State of Euphoria who's coming back on the inside Nuclear and he's battling around with him as well as a furlong to go it's Nuclear it's State of Euphoria and it's Amazing Grace it's almost three in a line as they race up towards the line and now it's Amazing Grace on the outside State of Euphoria on the inside this is going to be a head bobber as they get up towards the line but Amazing Grace is a searching on the line and wins it from State of Euphoria and Nuclear and then James Rose and Pretty Storm was last and that was a pretty tight finish in the end State of Euphoria looked totally beaten at one point came back well but Amazing Grace takes it Josh Sutherland is having a good week and he takes another winner there with Amazing Grace State of Euphoria second for Ryan Tamasemi Nuclear for Leon Van Resburg third James Rose for John Morgan fourth and Rosini's McCavity for David Hooley was fifth